Continues now, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sonic joins us from Kent County with a look on how that area is being affected. Catherine, usually in this chair on Sunday mornings, I know she's probably not <laughs> too upset being out in the mix. Most reporters like to be out on the scene, and Catherine, no different, yep. right? Yeah, no, actually, it's beautiful out here. I forgot my gloves in the uh, truck minutes ago, but I think I'll make it. The uh, sun is finally coming out here, and you can see what we have left behind here. It's not too bad, a wintry mix, but uh, last night it was pretty bad. I'm sure anyone who has trees in their yard was probably fearful, like myself, that they were going to come down and smash onto the house because the snow is heavy and uh, very wet. You can see here behind me, we're going to take a little peek in across the road here in Coventry. You can see the uh, Rhode Island DOT salt and sandbar. And that was a pretty busy location throughout the night. I think the busy locations right now are the coffee and donut shops with people finally venturing out this morning. But if you get out here, the roads are fine. Secondary roads are now fine as well. The sun is melting everything away. Still many people, the big headline here, many people across Rhode Island without power this morning. National grid crews say they are working on restoring that. They did say they had crews on standby. I think the majority of the people right now who do not have power in, are in West Warwick, right on the Coventry line. It was about 3,300 people uh, at last check. So for now, we're doing well here. And uh, we're going to toss it back to you, Patrick, who is uh, nice and warm in there. <laughs> so it is nice and warm in here, Catherine. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't look too bad out there, though. I do have an update that I <laughs> wanted to pass along from Connecticut Light and Power. Uh, they just tweeted this. They're calling this unprecedented damage. And for folks in Connecticut without power to prepare for Worst case scenario, they're calling this, a week or more perhaps without power. Again, this is Connecticut Light and Power sending out that information moments ago. So major power outage situation in Connecticut, and as we mentioned, over 10,000 people in Rhode Island also without power.